SBR recommends Betfair with a rating of A-. Click on their logo to find out why. Hello and welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. Joining us now is Richard O'Hagan, sports writer and regular contributor to SBR Forum to discuss the betting value for the individual World Cup teams. Richard, welcome to the show today. Hi, Natalie. It's great to be back. Now, the Nigerians were quite impressive in qualifying, managing an undefeated record through the African tournament uh, where they were only in danger of defeat once. The question becomes, can they continue that form at the group stage of the World Cup? They landed in Group F. Now, before we break down the actual numbers, who in Group F are Nigeria's biggest threat? Oh, they've got two massive threats there. They've got Argentina as the seeded team who are bound to go well here in conditions that are very much going to favour them. And of course, you've got Bosnia Herzegovina, who are the real wild cards in the group, never been to the final stage before, played superbly in qualifying, and I think they're going to be very tough for the Nigerians to break down. So yeah. whilst I'm not expecting them to have too many difficulties against Iran, the other team, I think those two are a massive obstacle to Nigeria qualifying. Mm -hmm. Well, would you make on, uh, Nigeria a bet on Nigeria to qualify, or are you going to go for Nigeria to be eliminated at the group stage? And that's priced at 1.53 with Bet365. I think you've got to bet on them being eliminated at the group stage just because, although it's not a great price, it's, it's there for a reason and it, they really do have a really tough obstacle. However, if you think they're going to get past one of those two teams, you know, pick up points against Argentina and Bosnia-Herzegovina, make it through to the second round, then I think they will win a second round game because I don't think they're going to have difficulty against a Group E team from the second round. So you can bet on them going out in the quarterfinals at 13s as well. Just small bet, just to, on the off chance you might make some money somewhere down the line. Yeah, and how many points are they likely to gather, do you think? I think the realistic option here is three. I think they'll beat Iran. I don't think they'll beat the other two teams. Uh, three points, actually, surprisingly, 4.5 at the moment. That's a really good price for something that almost a given in this group. So I would be definitely backing that. Mm -hmm. Are there any other bets that we should be looking at here to bet on Team Nigeria? And uh, what would say be an official tip for this group? Uh, I think that in terms of backing on Nigeria, I think the other thing you could look at is top goal scorer. That's only because Emmanuel Emaniki is such short odds as their potential top goal scorer. Where if you've got very experienced players like Victor Moses in there at around about 11s, he's not going to go unnoticed by the opposition but I expect him to have more chance of actually scoring and playing up to his form at this level than someone like Emaniki, who's never really been at this level before. So I would say 11s on Victor Moses to be top Nigerian goal scorer. That's a really positive bet. OK, one of all that wraps things up for our Nigeria preview. Uh, Richard O'Hagan, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome, Natalie.